what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to talk about what, how we're doing all this and I'm going to do it, do everything one time and then we'll start everybody else doing it. So this is from Michelle. This is his melter. Um, it's a water jacket. It has all these little gadgets over here again. This is the thermometer to, to set it. Set this um, at night 180 to 190 to melt the wax. And then we put it back down to 175 and that maintains it at 165. And that's between 170, 65 and 170 is where you want the dipping to start. So now I pop that way, and this is a water bath, which is, will help take it off. These are um, marine, marine plywood that Michelle, Michelle, Michelle made these. Mm -hmm. um, they soak in salt water just as a storage thing to keep them from rotting. But you can see we got lines on there. One is for western frames and the other is for our deeps. So that's how we know how far to sink it into the wax. So nice and wet. Salt water in the salt in the water. Salt in the water. That's just for storage though. So the, the board salt. Water. So I'm going to dip it three times. You notice it's falling. Can you let that stop? If you go too fast, you're not going to get consistent thickness of your sheets. Um, when we had two or three different people working at one time, and I started embossing it, I realized that every one of them seemed different, and they weren't coming out consistent, which is which is hard on the embossing machine. They need to be kind of consistent. So we we did a tiny so thing, three dips. <laughs> and the salt, is there salt going into that wax then? No, no, it's very diluted. What it was just the way, I, I filled it up with water. Oh, salt water means for the piece of It's just preserving the wood. It's a good preserver for the wood. Yeah. Water. Right now it's just <coughs> water in there. Oh, I see. <laughs> so scraping it so you got a clean edge so that they'll fall off. And when you lift these up, once they're in the water, they'll fall off on their own. Wow. But they just come oh. off. Wow. Yeah, this is okay. loud, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah, you should pass it around yeah. now. This is flipped out of the thing. See what you got, what it is. Is it okay to put our book for the Yes. Yeah. Oh. Sunny. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This, I'm sure it doesn't have to be perfectly yeah. 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 run it through the embossment. Um, we'll talk about that. Yeah. 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 The marine plywood makes a difference on the, on the heating off. Um, yes. I, I haven't, I've talked to Michelle about using to make a seal or something and said it doesn't work. Oh, so this should be an experiment with the wax of just dipping it one time and two times or three times. And what I found is because it gets really cold up here, um, the wax gets really brittle. So when you go to try and put it in your um, frames, they'll, they'll just crack or fall apart. So the it seems like the three dip is the one. So the temperature of the water that you're dipping it in? It's just cool. And I actually just put an ice block in it. For ambient temperature? I'm not sure. Air, same as the air temperature? Oh, no, it's a little bit cooler cool because you're constantly putting these hot boards in there. Mm -hmm. So as we do this, I try to keep it cool. Otherwise, it'll take longer for it to peel off your board. Mm -hmm. so adding ice. Add I had an ice block in here earlier just mm -hmm. to keep it cooled down. Or other, just drain it out and put some more water in. Because after a while it'll kind of end up being room temperature. Mm -hmm. As we go through, I mean, you have this opening, you're dipping and dipping. It, it does make the temperature go down, so we check it like now and then. And as as the level goes down, because this is only so deep that you can put this board in here, because there's a concave in this tank mm -hmm. that we just take. That's why this one is filled, so we can fill this and keep the level up. What temperature should the wax be? Um, 165 to 170. Mm -hmm. 165 actually is the best. Anywhere in between us. Detail, detail, one detail. This is in here because when you put these in, they all lay on top of each other. They float. So this keeps them standing mm -hmm. instead of flipping on their backs. When you got, you know, four or five people in here, and you, your, your job today is to make the sheet, you're just pumping it out as fast as you could. So that was a problem the day that we were working at. Sure. 